Hi folks, Mark here at U Refill Toner and I've teamed up with Steve today and together we're going to show you the right way to refill these laser printers that you can see here which are both the Brother HL3040CN. Now we've been looking around on Tinternet as you do at people supposedly showing you how to refill your own toner cartridge and in most cases there wasn't a laser printer in sight. This one's just printing the back page of our catalogue as you can see there. Uh, so we just wanted to reassure you that we have tested these refills on the printer, well two of them in fact, and by the time we'd released our starter kit for the Brother HL3040CN we'd done this refill 16 times by which we mean we'd put the toner in 16 times and run the toner out of it by printing with it 16 times. When you get a brand new machine, it arrives with a set of so-called starter cartridges, which are different from the ones that Brother wants you to buy later. So if we're gonna refill these puppies, we need to be able to tell the difference between the two types of cartridge. Now this is one that you can buy. You can see, if you can read upside down like me, that that has a product code on it, TN230C for cyan. And it also has this white plastic piece called a uh, reset wheel, uh, which is important for the functioning of the machine. Now, the one that arrives with the new machine just has this uh, C for cyan in this case, not a proper product code, and it lacks that white reset wheel that we were just talking about. So when do I refill then? Good question, because you can come unstuck on this one. Ignore everything else, just wait until the machine stops printing and you get this message here, replace toner. As you can see there, it doesn't tell you which cartridge is uh, getting low on toner. For that, you have to look on the rolling display you can see here on the control panel of your machine. In this case, I think it's just about to tell us it's the cyan cartridge uh, that's stopping us from printing. Very important that when you get this message, you just focus on the colour, in this case cyan, that's mentioned in the message. Don't start doing anything and topping up all the other colours. If you do that, you're headed for a world of refill pain. Also, when the machine stops printing and you get this message, it's important to realise that the cartridge isn't actually empty. There's still about 15 grams of residual toner left in there and you have to be sure and you refill toner have consciously checked this that the refill toner that you're going to put in is capable of refilling on top of the residual without causing any print defects so give the bottle a good shake with the top still on get the toner moving and then need to get our plastic spout put on so that we're ready to pour when we've got the cartridge open a bit later and we always like to put a bit of tape around the spout because the toner is very fine and very occasionally if you don't get the top tight enough a little bit can escape so you tend to work cleaner if you put this tape around the bottle like that although admittedly it doesn't look too pretty You'll have no problem finding this label at one end of the cartridge. Just tear that off like so to expose the toner plug, which you can see there. Then it's just a case of levering the plug out. A three millimeter flat blade screwdriver is best for this. Just notice where we've gone in there. Um, this minimizes any leaks that could be caused by damage to the plug and the interior wall of the cartridge. So it is a good idea to go in there, get the screwdriver quite a long way down, about a centimeter down, so you're well below where the plug starts, and just leave him out like so. Don't have to be too concerned about damage to the plug because there is a spare one in the starter kit and they are available from us. 
now that the plug's out you need to keep that cartridge sort of facing up at an angle like this you'll probably be holding it in your left hand and um, grab the bottle that we agitated earlier marry them up like this and uh, that will be enough to get a fair amount of the toner in but it probably won't all go in in one go so you need to put your finger over the end of that spout make sure it's completely covered give it another shake and then marry up and repeat that procedure and you need to do that um, as many times as it takes to get all the toner out of the bottle there'll probably be some stray toner just around the edges and opening of the plug hole there so I need to just clean the cartridge up a bit with the swab that's provided and then the replacement plug goes in like so and that would have been all she wrote if it weren't for that reset wheel that we've been talking about and by the way we can't think of any sound technological reason as to why the printer should need to interact with a reset wheel so the design does run the risk of being construed as a cynical attempt to impede and discourage reuse and recycling which considering the state the planet's in and considering that it's your property we think is a bit much but you'll probably make up your own mind about that one anyway here's what to do first up we're showing you how to do a starter cartridge which you'll remember from earlier doesn't have the white reset wheel on it so first of all just take out these two screws and this black end plate comes off usually those cogs stay where they are but if one drops off just put it back on quickly this spring is included in our starter kit place it onto the post as shown and then the reset wheel also in the starter kit goes in that position there and the spring on top now if we can just freeze frame this we're going to point out this tooth which is on the reset wheel and that needs to be just in that position you can see it there pointing up towards about two o'clock then it's just a case of getting that end plate back on and putting the two screws back into position I think someone's been taking the clumsy drug today and as the second one goes in there that would be the end of the whole refill procedure for that starter cartridge if you're resetting a bought cartridge as opposed to one that arrived with a new machine it's slightly easier there's already a reset wheel on the cartridge for you when the end plate comes off and we're just going to show you here this white notch that sticks out from the wheel and it butts up against a black post you can see there that's the fired position we want the loaded position so we're just going to lift this spring lift the wheel twist it back and put the spring back just like that now what have we achieved there well when you put this cartridge back into the machine the machine assumes that it's got a new cartridge based on the position of the wheel getting the end plate back on is the same for the bought cartridge as it was for the starter cartridge so only difference is is that for the starter cartridge you have to add a reset wheel in the loaded position whereas for the bought cartridge you have to turn back the wheel into the loaded position finally a quick commercial the best way to go from zero to hero with the brother HL 3040 is with this, our starter kit. Keep refilling in the free world.